welcome to my YouTube channel. One of the things we're going to be cooking today is going to be a roasted spaghetti squash with creamy ricotta pesto served with pan seared shrimp. I was feeling like I wanted to eat a little bit of Italian today and this was my first time trying this uh, pesto sauce um, along with the squash and the way I seasoned it. Uh, these are going to be some of the ingredients that I used uh, one of the things that I did leave out is going to be some of the minced garlic uh, You kind of want to eyeball it and taste it of how much you want to put in there uh, And without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the squash in half Then you're going to remove the seeds from inside the squash and some people save them and roast them for later to snack on I didn't want to do it and I threw mine away Secondly, you're going to season the squash uh, Start with the oil so you can rub it in there and then you're just going to put some salt and you're also going to put some pepper on it uh, and then you can just put it in the oven and at 300 degrees then you're going to shred some walnuts it's going to be about a quarter cup um, you could add more if you want to uh, accordingly to your taste but then i ended up cutting up a jalapeno and tossed it in there and shredded that as well along with the italian uh, some people use italian parsley i didn't have it but you can use parsley of any kind and you're gonna put the, your basil in there as well and shred it all. Don't put the cheese in there yet, just shred it so uh, it's not all bulked up. And put the seasoning accordingly to your taste buds. You know, some people have issues with too much salt. I don't, so uh, put it according to your taste buds again. Then you're gonna put your Parmesan cheese in there and you're also going to put your ricotta cheese in there as well. So I, I said three tablespoons. I like a lot of cheese, so I ended up putting more than three tablespoons because it's to my taste, all right? Uh, if you wanna do it by the, by the book, then go ahead and do it by the book. I would, you know, tell you to get at least a five pound squash and do it. Um, keep shredding it. Uh, some people have, you know, different types of shredders. Uh, just keep shredding it accordingly and you know, I had to kind of move it around because I had a ninja uh, shredder and uh, I should have had a food processor, which I had bought and should be coming here pretty shortly um, from Amazon, but I didn't have it at the time I was cooking. Um, so squeeze the lemon, make sure you get the um, seeds out of there. I think one seed fell in, but I was like, I don't care. I'm just gonna shred it anyways. Uh, pour it out and voila, you have your pesto sauce. Um, and then you're gonna cook your shrimp. But don't forget about that, that squash. Some people just uh, overcook a lot faster. So the shrimp, you're not gonna overlap them uh, and you're gonna cook them pretty fast. You wanna have the shrimp already uh, shelled, which I did uh, in the morning and you wanna have them dry so they're not gonna burn as soon as you put them in the pan. Um, two minutes on one side, one minute on the other and should be done. The squash, just do the, the knife test. If it goes all the way through, sure, this, this is perfect. The one on the left was not ready because I cooked the one on the right first while I was doing this video. Um, but the, you know, uh, the one on the right was ready and you're supposed to wait 10 minutes prior to start filling it with the fork the long way so you can get the nice spaghetti strands. But I didn't have time for it. I just went and grabbed, you know, towels and burned my hands and start peeling away. Uh, again, use the, the fork to go a long ways and just to get that, you know, long, uh, spaghetti strands and get as much as possible. Um, I used a small squash, which I should have used a bigger one for this because I had a lot of pesto. So I really had a lot of pesto and not enough squash, which still came out okay. Um, again, I forgot to put the minced garlic in there. So you definitely want to do that. Uh, some people separate all their ingredients. I didn't and I just put them all together. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did, and I enjoyed the taste of this spaghetti squash.